Hello and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So let's continue leveling up our bard. Last episode we got to level 5 and now I intend to go and venture forth into Velosk which is the next adventure zone. Completing this we can nicely get an improved bag of holding with 42 slots. So let's go ahead and do so. You will need an item level requirement of 7000 which shouldn't be a problem if you've just been picking up the gear as you go along. So we jump to Sergeant Knox and we pick up our quest, Company of Wolves. So before we get started, I'd like to give a special thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going. And in our quest and pick up a three more new quests right here. And they'll send us all around. First one, let's go here, speak to her. And then we have to go and destroy those totems. We can look on the map and we can see we have three quests all within those certain areas. That be totem one, jump over here, destroy totem two, and we can gather up a ton of these f pieces of fresh meat. And our final totem just here, and that be that destroyed. Hopefully these guys can drop us some more fresh meat, play them a song, and we can finish them off with duet, our lovely fancy new encounter power. So yes, we're going to have to kill wolves for fresh meat, but let's just continue off this way and recover those necklaces. Our first necklace, kill these guys. Oh, we got some fresh meat from that guy. Our second necklace and our final necklace. So we just need one more piece of fresh meat. And I believe they're dropping from these werewolves. Yes, indeed they do. And so we head back with all three quests. Just have to feed the wolves who are back in the camp. Feed wolf one, wolf two, wolf three, and we speak back to herself and in the quest. Then we return back to him and we should be able to hand in all three. Well, excluding one, which we'll have to go and place the necklace in the carn. That's that, sums the three ghosts, listen to them talk, and return back to Thalos. And he should give us another quest. Indeed he does. Sacred meetings. We go and meet some new NPCs. Descending down here to the waterfall. Around the corner, under the waterfall, we have our new NPC tucked away just here. He'll give us two quests, one of which will get us to level 6. So we'll just head to the Xincar Enclave. And that'll be like a separate instance area. And hopefully we'll be able to kill enough bandits within there to complete our second quest where we have to kill 12 of them. If you want to know how to prioritize a quest, you can just double click on one of them there and it will prioritize it and then your sparkly line will lead you there. But we want to head to the relic of the past, so we head into here. So I'm assuming it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to have to haul through a whole bunch of these enemies and get to the final boss. We can probably just run past everything Let's give that a shot. I know it's gone horribly wrong on my other characters before. Let's see if this bard can do any better with its AoE powers. Oh, that's handy. You do actually have your stamina bar when you're in perform mode. It's that little blue bar down the bottom just above your HP. Seems to be going okay so far. They are a bit slow. And we have our boss here. We get our unskippable cutscene. And let's see what we can do. Let's play him a song. And then use all of our powers. We should probably save our AoE powers for when these guys all arrive. We may kill the boss, but then we may just die. Oh, dodge out of that. Drink a heal pot quick. Dodge out of that again. The boss should be dead. However, we have a lot of guys down here. Here's our duet. Another duet. And that's them finished. Good stuff. And we can go and take the relic. And then we'll head through the door. How was that? fairly successfully completed but unfortunately we didn't even get one bandit score but we are just in this area so let's start murdering things kill these guys more bandits play them a song finish them off kill some more bandits and these should be the last that we need kill them off with a song and that's it complete head back back under the waterfall hand those in level six hell yeah and we get two more quests. We'll just speak with Diana here. What does she have for us? We have to go and place the orb all the way over here. And then we head to the Stormcaller Caverns. Okay, right. That's convenient. 
place the orb right here and we head through this door so we're just going to do our same trick of running past everything probably not advised we're taking a lot of damage here now as there's a lot of enemies who have bows wow it's a lot of wolves let's just use our duet here while it's off cooldown keep dodging this isn't really advisable if you're a newer player but hell to it oh wow i just realized something we don't have our Ksuna summoned whatsoever. The reason I don't have her summoned is for the tooltip I made yesterday. Alright, we're at the end boss. We can't summon Ksuna since we are in combat. Dodge out of that. Put our staff of flowers down here. Get them all slowed. Pass a song. Use my duet to kill a bunch of them. Here's a health potion. This is dicey. I uh, can't dodge anymore. We should have our mount power now. Good, good. Use that. That's a whole bunch of them dead, and we just have a few guys left, and the boss is generally easy to deal with. Let's just, let's just shoot that archer. Thank you, he's gone. You see the boss just mainly... Ah, we used an invocation instead of a health potion. Ah, well, hopefully he won't one-shot us, eh? Make sure we move out of that red. Single bosses are a lot easier to deal with than hordes of enemies, since, look, he's just telegraphing all his attacks, and that's just very easy to move out of. As long as you're not close to him, since his attacks are mainly melee. That's it. Let's be sure to uh, resummon Ksuna. She can help out a lot better. And let's go and head out of here. And we have to collect rattles from Stormcallers. So we just kill these guys. I believe one of them is a Stormcaller. Yep, he dropped a rattle. Let's help this guy out up here. No Stormcaller left for me. Ah, well. This guy's a storm caller. Two of five. Head down this way a bit. And that's three of five. There's our fourth and our fifth. Good stuff. Return back to White Sky. Complete those and obtain another quest where we have to meet with Dying Howl. Okay, we are now in the appearance of a wolf. We can use Q to sprint. Complete that. He gives us another quest where we have to recover those netheries orbs and also those solar shards so we can get the shards just like here get another inside the tent just here another in this tent another shard here two more then and the orb which is just here we kill off these enemies we collect the orb one more shard which we obtain off the ground here from killing the enemies and we obtain two more quests one of which will get us to level seven we have to head into the Shadow Keeper's Temple. Again, let's do the same trick and just kite all of these guys. Now we have Xuna, so she could very well just, you know, finish them all off as we just run past them. If you time the dodge right, they won't hit you with the melee attacks when you run past them. May as well top off our HP with a health potion and we get our cutscene. So we have to beat up the boss and be aware of all the enemies coming through here. So let's create a choke point. Staff of Flowers. Okay, that killed a ton of those shadow dudes that completed one of our quests. Good stuff. Play these guys a song. Oh, this shadowy stuff is trippy. Let's just not go in those orbs. Finish off the remaining enemies and exit. Turn back, hand in both quests, and we get to level 7. And we get our third quest to head up further into Velosk. So, do we have any fancy new powers unlocked? Not really. We did get this song ward, but that's about it. And we meet this guy and he should give us two quests then. Yep, giving us a blue rapier when we do so. And we have to go and recover talismans and kill pack masters. Kill these guys real quick and claim the talisman. Kill off the aggroed enemies, claiming the talisman. And now we just have to kill two more pack masters. And our last pack master just here. And that's them done. Head back. And those in, getting a fancy new rapier, and we get the wolf den, where we'll get to level 8. So let's see if we have any new gear, which we should have been equipping. We indeed do have some just here. You just go through it. If you see anything that has a star, like this cape, then you go and you slot it in. Your belt, shirt and pants are the same. We have some ability scores to increase. Again, I'm just going dexterity and charisma. So, let's go to our Grey Wolf Den. Activate the Crucible. Head up here. Interact. 
So yes, it is indeed our standard grey wolf den, if you've ever done it before. Quite a long thing, and I recommend just killing the enemies as you go. Especially since our performance bar generally fills up while out of combat pretty instantly, as you can see right there. Meaning when you jump into combat again, you'll very soon be able to cast another song and just help kill the guys off very quickly. So you could just interact with this and get the bridge, or you can do what I do foolishly, just run through it. Up the steps and we should get ambushed by these guys, yup, play them a song, soon out, do your job and finish them please. I'm gonna move to the next group, use my mount power, finish these guys off, and we should get the boss, but I believe we have to interact with this lever first. Bring us into a cutscene, and we have Thunderfist, our boss. Lure him over, use our inspiration, play a song, and kill him off. Luckily, unlike in the actual queue where you'd party up, we don't have tons of ads, so he's a lot easier. Okay, he does have ads, I'm wrong. They just spawn in a bit slow. We'll just have to wait for our duet. There we go, kills them, and the last guy is dead by Xuna. Wonderful. So we continue on. Make our way to Packmaster Zayev. Okay then. We can't get to the boss without killing them first, because of the damn lever. Anyway, not too hard, doesn't seem we actually lured everything. Interact with our lever, we get another cutscene, Packmaster Zayev. He does have some wolf bodyguards, so we'll watch out for that. Use our staff of flowers to slow them, and our mount power to kill them. And he should be dead pretty quickly. There we go. Oh, and of course he summons a ton of shadow wolves just as he dies. Can just play them a song. So we just have to make our way to the final boss, I believe, Marrow Slake. So it's going pretty successfully so far, so I'll just keep up my same strategy and keep moving past these guys, bunching them up. Of course, if you are lesser geared than I am, potentially make sure to not do so and just take them group by group. But we are scaled down, so if you're at 9000 item level then it isn't going to make much difference in your damage it's not like I have much more abilities that give me more percentages to my offensive stats than you guys would so pretty much are going to have the same effectiveness as I have right here Xuna definitely helps out a lot well any active companion will since they kind of dawdle back with the actual mobs and that way they kind of get aggroed to your companion rather than yourself and they just end up staying back there and if you move away far enough from your companion you get summoned right back to you and the enemies are like what we've nothing to hit anymore and then they just go back and that way you don't have to fight them sneak past these wolves and more wolves and we should get into our hall just here where we're going to have to make a stand before we can cross the void or the gap in the hall. Lots of guys jumping at us here. Let's use our staff of flowers. Well, we have to play them a song first. We went into performance mode. Staff of flowers, mount power, and duet for the remaining guys. And that's them nearly all dead. Let's lure them over to my staff of flowers. Oh wow, there's a lot of them coming. Eat a health pot. With more guys jumping in. Dodge while we can. Another health pot. Just mainly using encounter powers over at wills. At wills will just stand in one position for too long. We can use at wills from afar, of course. And that's them destroyed. We can pick up some of our loot. Not that it really gives us anything. Quartz is next to uh, nothing in terms of refinement. And we did get a piece of gear there. We can slot in our arms as it has more higher item level. Good stuff. Interact with the lever, and that should give us a bridge across this pit. Bit of a jump, and there we go. And now we get to our final boss. Don't believe it has the same mechanics like you would have with the actual dungeon. And just go and kill her real quick here. Does have considerably more HP than most bosses, and does tend to use that phase where she grows big and heals but fortunately she's not immune and we don't have to wait for the wolf to spawn etc etc may as well get some combat advantage and flank with Xuna. more adds spawning in use a staff of flowers it's great for that control and we nearly have her finished so that's that we don't get a chest or anything a little disappointing and we leave the gray wolf den hand that in and now we're level eight 
Hell yeah. Back to Protector's Enclave. Return to Sergeant Knox. And we just have to do a few quick quests to finally complete Velosk. You can see when we look at it here, we're going to have to complete our missives, auctions and diamonds. So he wants us to head to the workshop. So we'll just have to unlock that real quick. Just head down here and you get a cutscene, which unfortunately we cannot skip and it's rather long. So we can enter into our workshop, speak to the landlord, and then we have to choose one of these guys to hire. Speak to all of them, doesn't really matter at all which one you choose, choose her. There we go. And that's that complete and we can head back and do our final quest by meeting with the postal Courier, and the auctioneer and Rick's real quick about I guess dungeons and finally return back to Sergeant Knox and that should be Velosk fully completed and there we have it the next quest will be Ebon Downs so with Velosk finally completed we can claim our rewards getting some scrolls of health and an improved bag of holding which we can slot in instead of one of these and give us a whole bunch more bag space right there so that's everything for this video. Hopefully I presented it as well. If I did, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.